Hey, Con. Hey, Jason. Great to be talking to you. How exciting about this uh, new show. Oh, man. It's a blast. It's a blast. Great to be talking to you. Give me one thing that you've learned about the brain that has totally amazed you since you uh, are now hosting the show. Well, I'll tell you one thing that's fascinating is uh, our brain actually, through our eyes, we take in low-resolution 2D images of the world, and then our brain takes that information and creates a 3D high-definition reality for us. So our brain very much co-creates the matrix that we call reality, which is kind of fascinating, I think. I think it's going to be great, too. Jason, tell us a little bit about what Na National Geographic Channel has planned. Sure. Well, you know, Brain Games is a pop science series about the brain that uses perceptual illusions, optical illusions to create a crack in your perception of reality. You know, we all go around thinking we know the world, but what you see is not always what you get. And through these interactive experiments that really place your brain at the center of the action, your brain is the star of the show, you have the experience as a viewer of having the rug literally pulled from underneath your feet. And after that happens, you're like, explain to me how that works. And then that, <laughs> serves, that serves really as the hook for making a show that's going to teach you really about the most complicated object in the universe, which is the brain. Have you figured out why us guys can't uh, find our keys? <laughs> That's called attentional blindness, actually. Uh, <laughs> it's when something can be right in front of you and you will not see it. We look at that in the episode on focus, so it's, it's, it's really interesting. What's one uh, exercise that you do now, I guess, daily to work your brain over to, to make it as sharp as possible? Yeah, well, here's the thing. Your brain wants to save energy and it wants to be as efficient as possible. And one way that it does that is to create these mental models of the world, right? So your commute to work every day, mental habits, things that you do all the time get stored in the brain. And these neural pathways become like carved in as your way of basically operating. And the problem with that is that after a while, you know, you get so used to stuff that your brain is not even engaging anymore. And so one way to change that is to find like one new thing you can do every day, one experience that is novel, that will engage your brain, that will decondition your thinking, that will create new neural pathways. Even something as simple as taking a different commute to work every day or learning a different language or taking a trip somewhere you've never been or watch movies from a different genre that you normally watch. The point is to like constantly keep yourself in check by challenging your brain with new kinds of stimuli. That will keep your, your brain muscles active. So what has challenged you the most with this show? <laughs> well, you know, the interesting challenge for me has been to, you know, find ways of, of distilling these, these interesting insights of the, about the brain into language that is understandable, that is palatable to mass audiences. Because, you know, we're trying, the brain is the most complicated object in the universe. So how do you, how do you break it down in a way that's fun, in a way that people can understand? You know, how do you, how do you take basic brain perceptual functions like focus and, and how fear works in the brain and make that into entertainment? You know, or smarter attainment, as we like to call it. So it's been a creative challenge, but you know, that's my favorite thing to do. Distilling big ideas and making them resonate is, is my thing. So, Well, we look forward to tuning in, Jason. Thanks for sharing some time with us and giving some insight into the brain. Oh, thank you so much. And don't forget to tune in Monday nights, 9 p.m. Eastern and Pacific.